Okay, so it's Saturday, March 21st. There are 230 days left until Rockstock. I don't have anything clever to say. Cute intro. Okay, so first things first. Julianne, apparently, um, when you asked your question, you had really wanted me to include Harry Potter in my top five. And I guess, like, if I had to make a top five favorite books ever, if you, like, really twisted my arm, a Harry Potter book would be there. But, like, I think I would rather just say, like, the Harry Potter series in general would be there. So, um, pick a favorite Harry Potter book. Um, that's really hard. It's either Deathly Hallows or Half-Blood Prince, but I think if I had to choose, it would be Half-Blood Prince. Because... Mm. Half Blood Prince has like that normalcy that we kind of come to love in Harry Potter books, like the routine of being at Hogwarts, and like Deathly Hallows is really good, but you really lose a lot of what made Harry Potter so good because he's not at Hogwarts full time, and you don't have the day to day like humor that goes on from being at school. So Half Blood Prince is my favorite. Okay, let me just show you this. This is really getting my nerves. So I come home, right? Okay, so you know I live in New York, but then, like, I'm from Atlanta, so I come home for spring break, and, like, I enter my room, and here's what I find. This is my dresser, and my lamp, and my bed here. It's not made up, and it has stuff all over it. Um, Twilight books from last time. In the middle of my floor, there's a television. Like, it doesn't work. I don't really know why it's here. Oh, and, like, a roll of carpet. Like, what is this? What is going on? Like, I go for, like, I don't know. I leave home for, like, six weeks, and then there's just, like, all this crap in my room. So, yeah. That's why I can't, like, make my vlog. Because, like, I'm sitting here, there's this freaking TV in my way, and there's a rug over here. Oh. My room's being taken over. It's true, kids. When you leave home, your parents just, like, throw crap in your room. Like, they don't even care. They don't, they don't even care. I don't even know what to do. Oh, so Susie, I want to let you know, I'm reading Pride and Prejudice. It's really good. I concede. I like it. I'm not, I'm not ready to say that I love Jane Austen yet because I'm not going to make a full opinion based on one work, but I will say that I'm a fan so far. I read this in high school and my AP English class consisted of a bunch of teenage girls um, there were a few guys in the class, but it was, we were far outnumbered by the number of girls there, and I think the book just, like, really irritated me, because any discussion we had about it involved all of the girls, our fangirling Mr. Darcy, and I just got to where I was really tired of hearing about the books, and my recollection of the book was annoyance. So now that I can read it again, kind of, like, with a clear slate, and read it again from, like, a more literary standpoint, and enjoy the humor... Because it's very subtle, and I really like that about it. So, it's good. It's great literature. I understand why it's great literature. I concede. You win. You win. I will no longer put up a fight. Okay, so, it's been way too long. And I know I promised this, like, five videos ago that we were going to bring back the challenges. And I've decided how I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to roll the die. And whoever it lands on has three options. So, number one... um. The first two options are going to be recommendations from the subscribers. And the third I just made up because I think it'd be kind of hilarious. So you can choose, if the, if the die lands on you, you can choose um, any of the three you want to do. So the first one is going to be, you have to write a, write a song um, about the subscribers, about the channel, about someone else on the channel, and sing like a little fun song. Choice B is you have to have like a segment in your next video where you're cooking something and then you have to feed it to someone in your family. So not only do you have to like make something, but your family member has to be in the video. Oh, and I know number two is not really quite as subscribers wanted it, but for the sake of simplicity, we'll just kind of do it like that. 
sorry. So number three, you have to make your next video impersonating the person who comes before you on the channel. So for example, Michelle, if it lands on you, then your next video has to be impersonating Susie. Try to mimic their mannerisms, mimic the way in which they film their, their videos. Just the challenge is to break out of your normal routine and do something completely different. Um, we're like, I really, the point of this isn't to make fun of anyone, but it's humorous to see someone out of the, their element. So, Ooh, but before I roll the dice, I want to show you guys this. Okay. Fran and Ellie, you're really going to love this. Okay. So the die is coming from this Monopoly game, but what's fun about this Monopoly game, look, it's German Monopoly. I got it when I was in Germany. And in fact, I got it like so long ago that it's they still use Deutschmarks. Isn't that cool? Fun times, fun times. So, yay Germans. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Four. Julianne, you are being challenged. Okay guys, so I'm sorry this video is kind of, kind of long. I will probably edit a lot out, but it looks like it's kind of time for me to shut up now. So, um, Ariel, I'll see you tomorrow, and I hope that everyone has a fun time. Um, Fran, have a fun time in Austria skiing. Have a safe trip back. Um, Julianne, I'll see you tonight. Everyone else, have a really great week, and I can't wait to see your challenge, Jules. All right, bye.